Hey y'all, it's Sinma Darling, and I don't know about y'all, but I'm feeling 22. I am so ready for summer. So, 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 so ready for summer. And so I was thinking to myself, since it's May now, you know, why not just go and make a top 10 summer movies that I'm most anticipating? Because we are officially in the start of summer movie season, and I am just really pumped for quite a few of the movies that are coming out this summer and summer is my favorite season so you know I just thought this is the most appropriate thing in the entire world for my channel and the classiest thing to do. So without further ado let's go through this top 10 list. Obviously there's gonna be quite a few movies that I won't even know about until like the week of that I'll be super interested in but as of now these are just the films that I'm really excited for. So coming in at 10th place is High Rise. Now literally, literally the only reason that I really know about this film is because my gal pal, Re from Reanatoria, talked a lot about it when it came out in England and how she said it's a misunderstood masterpiece and how people are just constantly bashing it. She's like, no, it's good. I can't do the, the British Re accent. I can't do it. Like, I feel so bad. But yes, so I am basically just going to be putting this as 10th place just because I am dead curious to see if I'm going to like it because if there's already so much hype and hate going on over in the UK, I want to see what I think about it. You know, maybe I'll be on the hype train or the hate train. I hope I'm not on the hate train. That's a really sad train. Ninth place goes to X-Men Apocalypse. Now I'm going to low-key say this. I haven't seen all the X-Men films. That will be changing though before I see X-Men Apocalypse. But I haven't seen them all, but I really like this trailer and I'm excited. Coming on in eighth place is Finding Dory. Okay, so I know in my most anticipated of 2015 that I made back in January, I talked about how I'm not really looking forward to it, forward to it, but since Finding Nemo is my childhood, it's kind of obligatory that I see this film and I still feel the same way. I saw a couple of the trailers. I mean, it looks good. It just, I don't know because I grew up with Finding Nemo. I think it could definitely have a good story. It, it already has fantastic visuals, of course, from Pixar. You know, I love Ellen DeGeneres' Dory, you know, but I just don't know. I just feel like it could go really south really fast, but I'm not gonna think like that. I wanna be positive for sure, because this is childhood. Now coming in on at number seven is The Founders. Apparently they've decided to bump it up to August, which is even doper because we get to see it even sooner. And this is the movie about the founder of McDonald's and how he founded McDonald's and all this stuff. And I am super intrigued about this film. I saw the trailer. Now, the trailer, it looks good. The trailer didn't like completely blow me away. I'm not like hating on the trailer by any means. It just wasn't like this, oh my gosh. But I am really, really excited because this is a story I've been wanting to know about for years and years. In sixth place, we have Cafe Society, which is the newest Woody Allen film. It's actually opening for the Cannes Film Festival this year, which is ob obviously just cliche. I was going to say dope, but it's cliche because obviously it's Woody Allen and cans of Woody Allen. They go hand in hand, I feel like. I love the trailer to this film. I had heard someone say that this is like the Hail Caesar for Woody Allen and it really does look like that and I'm super excited. I love the cast. Who doesn't love a good Woody Allen film? Coming in at number five is The Lobster. A24, the absolute love of my life, is distributing this film and I've been hearing just nothing but incredible things about this film and I am so ready to see this film, y'all. I love the take on the romance genre with this film. It looks like to be one of the most unique, not only romance movies in a very long time, but just movies in general. In fourth place, we have The Nice Guys. Okay, if y'all wanna know, I've said it quite a few times on my channel, but I'm gonna repeat it. I have a thing for 1970s based films. Like, I love Almost Famous and Boogie Nights and Saturday Night Fever. I also love the dynamic duo of Russell Crowe and Ryan Gosling. That is just pure genius. They're two of my favorite actors and I think already they have great chemistry from what I saw in the trailer. Now we're into the top, th that's six, top three. So coming in at number three, we have Sausage Party. Oh my goodness, y'all. Every time I watch a show, I've seen this trailer maybe 800 million times because it's just, it cracks me up so much. And of course, only Seth Rogen and James Franco and Jonah Hill and co could only come up with such a crazy idea like this. 
And for number two, we have to talk about the movie that is opening up the May month, and that is Captain America Civil War. Oh my golly goodness, am I pumped. I just am so excited. Not only is Captain America one of my favorite superheroes, but so is Iron Man. That's why I'm still so torn on who should I be on whose team. I'm gonna have to figure it out before I see the film, but oh my goodness, everything I've seen from this film, I'm so excited for. And I don't know how it's gonna end, and I'm a little scared, not gonna lie, because I love both superheroes. And also, Spider-Man. I was a little nervous, because that squeaky pubescent voice, the, hey everyone, but I've heard from people who've seen the movie already. They say he steals the show, and that just makes me happy, because Spider-Man is my favorite hero, personally. And coming in at number one, Woo! And number one has got to go without a shadow of a doubt to Suicide Squad. Oh my goodness, y'all. The words are not there. I am speechless for how excited I am to see this film. This film, I feel like, is going to redefine the superhero genre. I definitely think. I mean, they're not even superheroes, they're villains, technically. But everything I've seen from this film, I haven't been disappointed with. I will say, the last trailer we got wasn't a huge fan of, but still it was good. I'm not complaining by any means, but I mean the first one they showed at Comic Con last year blew me away. Sometimes I still watch it and I literally think to myself, this is art. Like, oh my gosh. And then obviously the Bohemian Rhapsody trailer, one of my favorites because they used my favorite song of all time in that trailer and they used it to justice. I am so excited for Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. Of course, Jared Leto as Joker. Oh my goodness. I was super scared, obviously. But, you know, I think he's going to do the Joker justice. But yes, that is definitely my number one most anticipated movie this summer. Sadly, it comes out in August, so it's going to be a while before we all see it. But you know what? I am ready. So those are the movies that I am looking forward to most this summer of 2K16. I think we've got a pretty good summer coming up ahead, y'all. I hope all y'all have a wonderful day and stay classy.